Okay, guys. The Haley Strategic Partners WMLX from Enforce. Let's talk about this thing. Starters. This is a very lightweight, light, lighter than almost any other <clears throat> dual battery long gun light on the market. And that comes from being a glass reinforced nylon uh, body as opposed to an aluminum or even a steel body that you see on some other lights. Um, that keeps it very lightweight and for anyone who might have any qualms about having a having a uh, polymer light on their rifle, um, most modern handguns are made out of polymer so I don't know what what would uh, steer you away from this just being polymer doesn't bother me at all um, the parts that need to be metal are metal the parts that don't need to be metal are polymer works great so let's talk about some of the features this thing's got some interesting features um, probably the, the number one feature that sets this apart from many other lights is the uh, is the switch here as you see when you've got the white mark up you're in high mode, which is 800 lumens. When you flip this switch and there's no visible mark, that is low mode, which is 400 lumens. Additionally, it has a lockout switch to keep you from bumping that button. And uh, it works very well for that. It does keep you from getting the, the button turned on. The Haley Strategic Partners version of this light, this version, specifically has a contact only uh, switch there is no constant on like on some of the other WMLs and WMLXs um, we have you can see them there in the uh, in the slots in the head there you have heat heat ventilation ribs that help keep the head of this lamp cool um, which is a good feature right we all know that LED lights tend to get hot and they will overheat um, and they will go down when they get too hot, the module inside will just quit working. Have a, uh, you can see that pretty well actually. You have a nice crinkled, crinkled uh, reflector in there. Creates a nice beam pattern. Creates a real nice beam pattern. It's a fairly deep uh, reflector, so you you do get some good candela. Not as much as maybe a, uh, you know, as maybe the cloud defensive OWL. But uh, you do still get some good hot spot and some good throw with this light. Um, built in, built in Picatinny rail mount right here. Very interesting how this works. So this hinges here. This piece, it's built into the into the body on a hinge that is spring loaded, and then it's got this set screw here. So after you've attached this to your rail like that, you then turn in this set screw and tighten it up by hand and uh, what that does is that prevents this from hinging far enough to let it come off of the rail and it's very secure I like it very much um, it's a very interesting idea there I don't know of any other manufacturers that are doing that style of a uh, of a uh, mount so just to show you here I have a, a 590A1 with a piece of pick rail attached to my pump there and that is where I prefer to run this light I know that you can get offset mounts and run this on ARs or run it on the top rail on an AR like a friend of mine does but my favorite place to run this light is on the pump of my shotgun for a couple of reasons a the switch is built in into the light there's no wire to run from one side to the other or or you know to manage anywhere on the pump of my gun I don't want to have to manage a wire on a part of my gun that moves. Um, also, it's very light, doesn't add a lot of weight to the pump. Uh, not that that would necessarily be a big issue, but it could be, I guess. But it just mounts right up there to a piece of pick rail. You you set the non non hinge side on first. Pinch your hinge, comes right on. It's very secure, but you can set your set screw, and that makes it just about bomb proof. It literally just almost cannot come off of there the way it's set up. Um, I've had no problems with it. I have a couple hundred rounds through this. And